welcome to a session on uh, JITMAT 2024, Quantitative Ability, Questions and Their Solutions. Let us start with the questions. Let us check the first question. It says, the average of five consecutive numbers is P. Correct? Clearly, uh, the concept that has been tested is that of averages. Right? The average of five numbers or five consecutive numbers is P. What can the numbers be? So typically when we assume numbers, uh, one, one tends to think differently. Of course, each to his own, you could also assume the numbers to be A, A plus one, A plus two, A plus three, A plus four, because they're consecutive numbers. Or alternatively, you could assume the central number to be A. So if the central number is A, then the fourth number, uh, would be a plus one, the fifth would be a plus two, the second would be a minus one, and the first would be a minus two, right? So this is also a fair assumption to make. Moving ahead, if you uh, go ahead with uh, this assumption, uh, let us understand how the question is solved. It says, how will the average vary, right? So first, what is the average of these five set of numbers? If you add all the numbers, because uh, there is a symmetry, uh, it would add up to give you 5a and the positives cancels with the negative. So you've got 5a by 5, which is a. Right? Now, it further says, if two more numbers are included, if two more numbers are included to the list, what would happen? Here we have only a plus 2. The list ends there. Beyond that, you have a plus 3 and a plus 4, which are the two next two consecutive numbers. How will the average vary? So let us understand how will the average vary here. You have got two more A's, so that makes it 7A. And you've got a plus 3 plus 4, so that would become plus 7. So A plus 7 divided by 7, therefore the average becomes A plus 1. So what is the net change in the average? Of course, the average increases by 1. Okay, yeah. Is there any other way to uh, solve the same question? Yes, there is. Let's look at that. Assuming the same set of numbers, uh, if you already are aware of the property that average of an arithmetic progression, this is an arithmetic progression, by the way, if you notice, these set of numbers are already in an arithmetic progression, correct? A minus 2, A minus 1, A, A plus 1, A plus 2 is a set of numbers which are in arithmetic progression because the difference between successive terms is same. Also, the next series will automatically be an arithmetic progression. If there are odd number of terms, then the average of such a series, which is an arithmetic progression, would in fact be the central term. So what is the average here? The average would be A. This is a property. So being aware of such small important properties would help you eventually uh, solve questions orally. So this is virtually orally solvable, correct? Because this is A and then the next number is A plus one. The average of the next series is A plus one. So what is happening to the average? The average net net is increasing by one. 